Evening folks, Simon here, how you doing? Um, I'm sitting here in Carlton Park, just outside the Melbourne Museum and the IMAX Theatre there. Just, you can see the city behind me, just off, uh, that's Rathdown Street, right there. And um, yeah, I've just actually finished up on the last day of my Migration Law Internship. So it's a bit sad, um, but it's also really good as well. Um, I can't believe how much I've actually been able to, to learn and um, how useful that my, my previous knowledge and my life experience is actually going to be when I'm doing the migration related aspect of my future role at Global Village. I'm really, I'm quite excited about that. Um, I'm really glad that I got to, to do my internship at a, a good and supportive firm where everyone was really kind and it's really supportive of the fact that I wasn't just there to tick a box um, for my university and get it done, that I actually wanted to, to learn, and I really did. I tried, I tried my very best and really got, um, really got quite involved um, as much as I was legally able to in a lot of the cases. So I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that I was able to get a lot out of it and quite happy that I got a good evaluation as well. That's always, <laughs> always something good at the end of an internship. The other thing I'm really pleased about is that over the last few years, especially when I was really sick, whenever something positive would happen, like I'd do a little course or something small that got me out of my current situation, at the end of it, which was usually only a day or two, um, I'd be faced with the fact that, oh, okay, here I go, back to my normal life again which at that time really wasn't so good. It was, there was really not much hope and um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of negativity. Now I've come to the end of th this internship and I'm feeling, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really positive because yeah, it's, it's sad to say goodbye and leave everyone there behind. I mean, yeah, for sure I'll keep in contact because they're lovely people, but I'm not going back to my old life, am I? in three weeks, three weeks from now. I'm moving to, to Thailand to really get Global Village underway and before I know it, I'm gonna be practicing. I'm gonna be doing for my own company and the people that I'm gonna be helping the same very you know, similar kind of stuff to what I've just been doing at my internship. So the bad old days are firmly in the past. I'm really happy to be able to say that. So. I guess my message out to anyone out there who's going through depression or anxiety or is really struggling with uh, any issues in life at the moment and wondering where your place might be and what you might want to do next, once again, I can only reinforce this. Look at something that you're passionate about. Look at something that you're interested in and follow that as much as you can. I mean, I'm, I'm really lucky that I'm just about to have this qualification in migration law that will allow me to practice and help people. I've got my past experience in um, operations management working in Asia that I can use for the business consultancy side of Global Village. So folks, there is something out there for you. There really is and I'm kind of proof of it and I'm hoping to prove that to you even more in the, in the next few months. Um, so keep at it. Okay, keep at it. Thing, things do get better if you find the answer inside yourself, which you can. Okay, well, I'll leave you with this little view of Melbourne. I did notice that those lights here yeah, are shining right in the camera. Hope that doesn't affect things too much. There's some funky sculptures or things on posts here. There's the rest of the city over there. Um, the museum's nice. I walk past this every day on my way to, on my way to the internship. Well, folks, I shall talk to you soon. I've got a couple more days left in Melbourne before I fly back to Brisbane. I'm going to do some exploring. All right. Take care. Take care, folks. We shall chat soon. Onwards and upwards. Bye for now.